I'm standing here at the memorial for Charles Wesley, who is the great hymn writer, and he famously wrote one of my favourite carols, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. And that first verse speaks of how um, the glory of the angels recorded in Luke's Gospel, they're proclaiming the birth of this newborn saviour. And we read that this great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to those on whom his favour rests. The Bible speaks about angels in lots of different ways. In the New Testament it speaks of Christians entertaining people, exercising hospitality and perhaps entertaining angels unaware. But here in this text we have this sense that you could not be unaware of the identity of these angels and they're around who the Lord is. One of the names of God in the Old Testament is Jehovah Shabbaoth, the Lord of hosts. So God is surrounded by thousands and thousands and thousands of glorious angelic beings. And when God becomes a person in Jesus, God is born as a human being in Jesus, those angels are appearing in the sky. They're proclaiming, this is happening. This is a signal that the baby lying in the manger is God incarnate, the same Lord who is called the Lord of hosts. So the angels worship this baby. They worship Jesus, recognizing him as God with us. And our question, I guess, today in this Advent season is will we? Can we join Charles Wesley by saying, hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king, peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Will we bow the knee? Will we worship this Jesus whose birth was proclaimed by angels?